All right, I wanted to make a new video here. Uh, what I'm working on here is the, really I'm working on the exhaust manifold here on the, uh, for my 250 inline six. The uh, intake is, it, it's separate, it bolts there, but they're kind of together. Um, but anyway, what I'm doing here is these studs that hold the, uh, the exhaust pipe on there, you can see how bad they really are. And these things are just junk and it wasn't making a good seal. So what I've done is I've cut them off and I'm in the process of cleaning up this flange area. And what I have are two header flanges that I cut off of some other project. There's some welding on there. Uh, I'll grind that off. But basically what I'm gonna do is with the flange and all, is I'm gonna weld this header flange to the base of the exhaust manifold there so that I have a much easier uh, way of connecting the manifold to the exhaust pipe. Uh, and hopefully it should seal a little bit tighter. I do need to go buy a gasket. But other than that, it should be pretty good. So I'm working on getting the surface here prepped for welding. You can see over there in the corner, we got the little baby Weber uh, getting those charcoals all hot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the exhaust manifold on there and try and get it as hot as I can uh, so that I can weld it. The, the trick to welding uh, cast iron is you have to get it real hot and then you have to cool it down very, very slowly. Uh, otherwise, the cast iron will crack. So this is steel and this is cast iron, so it will weld together, but it's a bit of a tricky process. Um, hopefully I can get it done. I'm not sure if I can get it hot enough, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. Well, I went ahead and separated the intake manifold from the exhaust manifold, uh, just because it's not necessary to heat up both, and together uh, these two pieces are actually pretty heavy, and I didn't want to crush my grill. So this piece is pretty much ready to go. I've got the surface prepped, but as good as I can get it. So I'm gonna go set this on the barbecue, let this heat up, and while that's getting all nice and hot, I'm gonna clean off this kind of booger welded stuff uh, off of this flange and uh, get that prepped and uh, ready to get welded onto here. So we'll just let this exhaust manifold heat up and uh, I'll work on a few other little things, getting, like I said, getting those booger welds ground off those uh, flanges and uh, hopefully we can get this hot enough uh, so it doesn't crack. One other thing I'm gonna do while the uh, manifold is over there cooking, uh, I put some 3 8 inch bolts into this flange and I just got them held, held in there snug uh, with, a, with uh, some nuts. I'm gonna put some spot welds on each of these nuts, or each of these bolts I mean, uh, just so when I'm underneath the truck, I don't have to have a wrench and a socket. Uh, these will be held in place. All I gotta do is climb under there, thread the nut on there, tighten it up with my socket and I'll be done. It'll just make it easier for me uh, in the end. So I'm just about ready to uh, pull the manifold off the grill and uh, start welding this thing together. So what I did is I took the other three bolt flange and bolted it to the one that I welded the, uh, the bolts to, really just to hold it in place and, and also so that I don't forget uh, to put it on there. Because once I go in and stick this piece of tubing on a flange and start welding, if I forgot to put that three bolt flange on there, I gotta cut it off. Uh, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to get it on there. So, uh, I know it's on there. It's not gonna drop down and get in the area where I'm trying to work. Uh, so, let me go get the, uh, let me get set up. I'll get the uh, manifold off the grill and we'll get this welded on.